Capricorn. <sighs> Thank you, guys. I love you. I just want to tell you that. I hope you know that I love you. I hope you know that I, I love you like crazy. And I want to say happy holidays because we're at this time. We're at this season. And it's just your season. Like, you understand? Like, this is, this is it. Jupiter is hanging in your sign for the next year. So it's almost like people need to get on board. And <laughs> like, like, like the rest of the world would be really benefiting from doing things the way that you do them every day. So you're not, you're not gonna, it's not gonna take a lot of effort for you to get into gear and get into the full swing of being able to commit to a schedule, being able to make a schedule, commit to the schedule and follow through. So good stuff, good, good, good stuff, Capricorn. I think um, maybe a little bit easier, smoother sailing for you than for others, just because you'll know how to navigate the roadways, right? So I just want to say happy, uh, happy holidays and thank you so much for supporting the channel as much as you have. You are one of the strongest contenders I have here. And I think without you and Scorpio, I, I wouldn't, this channel wouldn't even exist. So know that my gratitude is just abundant. Happy holidays and a very happy new year. All right, Capricorn, let's get into your reading for this week. So this is for Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, wherever Capricorn energies affect your natal chart, you can apply these energies out for the next seven days. Now, if it don't fit, do not squeeze it. You do not have to squeeze anything that does not apply or resonate with you, all right? So let's get your energies do this let's do this let's do this let's do this let's do this oh that's a little much but there's a big reading here let's see if we can get some crowning energy if we get a card to flip if not i'm just going to go on with the reading capricorn energies sun moon rising capricorn energies capricorn energies yeah there you go Crowning your energy, crowning your reading. All right, I just got your crowning and your grounding energy. So let's see what your crowning energy is. Two, two cards. Miracles are endless and there's always enough. So there's some unexpected abundance coming to you this week. And it could very well be an opportunity. It could also be in appreciation, okay? This cow, cow in um, the Hindi religion is this creature that the gods use as their steed, as their vehicle of choice when they come to visit earth. So a great deal, in other words, cow delivers the highest and most beautiful forms of abundance. So there is something that's coming through for you emotionally this week that is going to make you feel good. Uh, co compliments, people contacting you. This is Piscean energy. So it could very well be a Pisces in your life, or if it's not Pisces, this is just emotional stability, being in a place where you feel most abundant, where you feel most happy, where you feel good, where you feel appreciated and safe, and also hearing from people over and over again that they're impressed with you, that they that they are um, that you are somebody that they admire or want to work with, them giving you accolades, them appreciating who you are. This is definitely being celebrated and feeling good, like in a way that you can really feel good about it. Like, in other words, sometimes it can be hard for you guys to accept a compliment. It, it can be. Um, it can be hard for you to feel like you can uh, absorb something or take something in if you haven't worked your butt off for it. But we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, uh, Capricorn, you have worked your butt off for this. Now this is a little bit of abundance coming in, but it's abundance in the way of people recognizing your value. Um, and that's the first step that might not be a lot of money coming in or that it might not be um, you know, love. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of cards that came out. A few too many, actually. So we're going to see. But this is definitely somebody recognizing that you are something special and, and sharing it with you and, and showing it to you in a way that you feel like, oh, wow. Like, and the way that you can, that, the way that's palpable for you, the way that you can absorb. Oh, happy day. <laughs> Like, I mean, come on. It's like about 
in time. Right? Uh, anyway, let's get into it. Um, this is too many cards, I gotta say. This is too many cards. Let me see, Capricorn. This is too many cards. Hi, Leslie. Oh, I highly recommend you get yourself a dog, Capricorn. There's no love like it. Come on, energies. Grounding you for this week. It's really interesting how you're crowning. Ooh. Oh, okay. You are never alone. So this is this is you being near the heart space. This is you being loved. This is you being support, supported and surrounded by people who adore you. This is also offers of love. Sagittarius got a similar energy, but this is more your grounding energy is your love. So I'm going to go ahead and call this. This is more your family or people that you consider your family. So your best luck, your most benefic moments this week are going to happen when you are with and around the people who make you feel most appreciated, loved, and cared for. So make some time for your besties. Make some time for your favorite, your favorite child, because we all we know we all have them. <laughs> um, uh, it's kind of easier for me because I only have one child. But basically, make time for those people that you feel best around. And that's when you're really going to shine. Not only because, A, they're so good at reminding you how loved and appreciated you are. And that's really going to help you out. It's like that shine that they create inside of you is going to radiate outside of you. Um, there is definitely messages of love coming in. Now, it doesn't have to be romantic love. This is big love. This is like true love, unconditional love. So one could hope that that's, that's married to romance, right? But it doesn't need to be. This could be the love of a mother and a child. This could be the love of a sister. This could be the love of a best friend. This is just plain and simple. The most important word here is love. Love and connection. What makes you feel warm. What makes you feel safe. Those people that you're not afraid to be vulnerable around. Which means, Capricorn, that you have a short list of who is on. Because I know you do. You have a short list of people that fall, that, that you trust and can allow yourself to be open around. So get with them. Make sure that you see them this week. I know we assume that we're going to see all the people that we love around the holidays, but sometimes we just get caught up in the hustle and bustle, right? Make time for those special people, those particular people that warm your heart the most and make it public. Like take them out, like get out there, go out and do stuff with these people because you're going to shine. And most of those miracles and abundance is going to come to you when you're with them. Just letting you know that that's the way it's going to go. All right, Capricorn, let's get this energy. There's a lot of cards on this table. There's just a lot. Okay. Give with gratitude and grace. So the more abundant you are, the, the more you give, the more that you get because we're a reflection of what we put out into the world. So um, I feel like there's this energy about you this week that is just going to want to keep giving and giving of yourself, right? Giving of your heart or being acknowledged for giving of your heart. There's definitely a celebration of abundance that's around you. There is a lot of receiving going on as well, though. This is a week where you actually get to receive what you give. This is an this was this is an equal exchange. You have a way of like giving people your blood, sweat, and tears. Just giving of yourself, like Turkey gives of itself with its with its blood, with its life. Um, this is definitely mothering energy, but it's also once again that gathering of family and friends. So make sure you keep that. You make sure you sh trust in it. Make sure you trust in it. Make sure you trust in that abundance around you. I really feel an openness to you, an open quality, a happiness, a relief. You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Taurus or a Pisces as well. These are both very reliable energies, very giving energies. Whoever is a Taurus in your life, somebody who makes you feel really good and makes you feel really proud and makes you feel really happy all the time and fills you with these beautiful emotions that you trust and can feel safe and comfortable with. There's also abundance coming in or accolades coming in from a Pisces could be a, another water sign as well, but there's definitely this energy of, um, getting a lot of emotional support from somebody, a lot of compliments, 
somebody that you've given a lot to. I don't know if you know this person or this is a particular person or if it's an energy of an opportunity, but there's definitely somebody that you've given a great deal to. There's, there's something coming back from them. Yeah, something coming back from them. Freedom is yours. So I do see you being unle like uh, untethered, um, unbridled this week. Go a, little, go a little crazy. Go a little wild. Gapcorn. You're getting your freak on. No, because this is still grounded energy, but at the same time, it's also air. When I see the horse energy, it's also air. This energy of being weightless and carefree and not giving a freaking, not giving a damn. And the reason is because you're safe. You feel comfortable. You feel happy. This is letting your hair down, letting it flow in the breeze. Like this is very, you Capricorn, when everybody else is gearing up to act more Capricorn, this is you being able to say, oh, you know, like, like I'm worth it. Like finally feel, you're feeling the abundance around you. You're feeling weightless because you know you've got this because Something about the next seven days feels familiar to you. It feels safe and you can trust it. This is also maybe a wild card coming through. Um, like I said, unexpected abundance coming to you this week. Take the lead. And this is definitely just the placements of the cosmos. You 100% are taking the lead. This is you leading the way, guiding, uh, being the one that shares the messages, being the one that, that sets the pace. You're the pace car. Capricorn for the next year, you would be the pace card. You'd be the one being able to show people how to get shit done when it comes to your energy. So, um, having a lot to give, having a lot to give and also almost being approached somehow by being the one to take the lead. This could also be also a breakthrough in terms of a job being, you know, take becoming the VP or breakthrough as a director or, or um, taking the initiative of starting up your own business. But this is definitely you being somebody that structures a system that other people follow. And you're getting this, it's almost like, these are always intended for me, right? They receive these messages from the ether. They receive the messages. It's not like you're just inspired from, you're 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 at home here. You're at one with spirit when you're here. Because this is a very spiritual card. It's the most powerful and one of the most beautiful cards in the deck. And it's really interesting how he has not been coming out. Stag has not been coming out recently at all. And all of a sudden, for the past three weeks, he's been coming out in a lot of readings. So there's definitely this level up energy of sort of being tapped and people getting in tune with what their purpose in life is and following it. Mm. make your dreams real. This has to do with mother or grandmother energy, somebody who weaves and protects you, somebody who um, casts spells on your behalf or you doing it on somebody, for somebody else. But the bottom line is what you have designed, and this is your strategy, this is your design, something that you've built coming to fruition, you know, being noticed, being recognized, um, something that you're deciding to build. So it's it's not just a thought anymore. You're actually, this is like you drawing up the blueprints to where you're going to go into the future. And this is you basically juggling the cosmos in your hand and making the decisions of which direction you're going to go. You could be making a major breakthrough here in terms of your life direction but you could also be starting something new. There is an energy of somebody that's very powerful coming into your life. Yeah. Maybe somebody that can help you with these plans, help you with the designs. Somebody with a lot of resources and a lot of energy. Look at the bigger picture. See the big picture. What I love about this card is it's very grounded energy, which works for you. This is Taurus energy, could be Virgo, but it's more Taurus energy. This is an energy of, I've got your back. I've got the resources, but it's, it's beautiful because giraffe is very grounded. 
but he also has this higher perspective, right? So it's not that he sees as high out as like hawk or eagle, but he sees a distance. He sees an attainable distance. So this is your level-headed mindset really working to your favor over the next seven days, not casting too far out, not projecting too far out of knowing, like a picture of your life as a Gantt chart, of knowing what the first phase has to be to be in place to lay down the footing and lay down that base, that groundwork for everything else. And you're able to see just far enough so that you don't feel rushed and you don't feel hurried and you don't feel pressured, but you do feel prepared. Mm. Uh, time to collaborate. Damn. You're, you're getting down to business. Of course, you're always down to business. And this is a wonderful time, though, I have to say, for you to get down to business, Capricorn, for your own ambitions, for your own dreams, your own, uh, your own goals. Basically, set them into place. But this is also finding somebody that you can work with, somebody who wants to work with you. This is finding partnership in somebody else, a compatible pet partner that wants to contribute just as much to you. This is also putting those puzzle pieces together. One plus one equals two. This is, um, this could also be um, you starting to plan a family with somebody, uh, coming together with somebody, finding your puzzle piece, finding that piece that maybe you didn't feel whole and this person makes you feel whole. And it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with romance. Um, there is some romantic nuances here, but it doesn't have to do with anything with romance. It has to do with finding the right partner, finding somebody that you can build with. Really strong earth energy coming through here. A lot of Taurus. Watch and wait. This is Piscean energy, a father figure energy. Somebody who basically has taken a little bit of a back seat to just observe and be patient and watch and try to take care of you or see that you're going to be all right or watching from a distance, not knowing how to approach you or what to say. Um, the energy of somebody who maybe doesn't have the courage to talk to you yet, right? Or somebody that is already in your life in a long-term way. Hold on, let me say, watch and wait. This is definitely somebody who's been considering you for a while. Let me see what the next card is. That's very interesting energy. Okay. Um, this actually could be somebody looking at you moving on with your life, looking at you getting moving forward and, and going forward and looking how a five plus three, three equals eight. So this is infinity. This is destiny. This sort of had to happen. It's almost like they had to take a step back to see how you are um, without them, with other people. They're watching you. They're watching you. Act as if. Somebody's in disguise here. Somebody's hiding. Somebody's hiding their intentions and hiding their feelings for you, Capricorn. This could then be also you grounding yourself by, you know, basically fake it till you make it. And that's okay. That's, that's an okay energy because sometimes you just got to move forward before you're completely and totally prepared to move forward. But this is definitely somebody else watching you move forward and move on without them and just get back to your grind and almost like you didn't miss a beat love is all around romantic romantic call somebody singing your praises calling your name singing your song singing like having the right harmony harmonizing with you um playing music or hearing a song that reminds you of somebody or that calls you to them them dedicating a song to you music being central to how you communicate with each other or how they're going to communicate with you. Um, somebody singing your praises, but this is more harmony, harmonizing, finding that person you harmonize with. This is also that spirit of caroling, right? And being in the moment of hearing voices that ring in your ears, like those voices of those people that 
you've always wanted to hear. Um, I also just saw a cuckoo clock. My best friend who's a Capricorn has a cuckoo clock in her house. I also just saw a cuckoo clock, almost like it's time. Some sort of music alerting you to the fact that it's time, that it's time, that it's here. Co-create with spirit. Find your voice. This is you being able to say what you need to say and find your voice and find those things that you basically getting a chance to, to say what you needed to say. Oh, Trans, truth transcends illusion. There's definitely a breakthrough coming out. Capricorn, there is an energy of somebody changing and somebody switching and somebody evolving from a water sign almost to a creature of the air. Somebody who is more thoughtful, somebody who is lighter, somebody who isn't controlled by their emotions anymore. This could be somebody that has basically gone through a metamorphosis or some kind of change. It, it, it took them a while to change or to mature. Hmm to get honest with themselves, this is Gemini energy, to communicate with you or find the words to say what they needed to say honestly to you. This is definitely a breakthrough, the truth coming out. Mm. Truth transcends illusion. The truth is coming out. The truth is coming out. And it's got to do with somebody's feelings for you. I'm not saying it's the person that you want to feel that way for you, but there's definitely some sort of offer or truth or message that's gonna come through to you that is going to matter a great deal to you. Use your mind wisely. This is more my this is my one pig's fly card. Out of the blue, you would have never expected this. You would literally thought that this was done, this was over with. You're like, yeah, when pigs fly, the little piggy just little piggy just took off. Like literally catapulting through the sky, little piggy is gonna fly. <laughs> little piggy is flying when pigs fly. So this is unexpected, unexpected energy. And this is a rebirth is assured and take a leap of faith. You are not going to have to move anywhere. It's not your move, it's somebody else's. You just stay put and enjoy your life because there's something coming out of the dark. There is you waking up from a long slumber. This is, this is, uh, like, like literally, look at, think, think of a bat coming out of the cave. And Raven is a spirit of, of, a message of truth coming out of the dark as well. So this is a hundred percent an energy of there's a realization coming to you today, uh, coming to you over the next seven days. There's a breakthrough and a message coming through of somebody's appreciation for you, somebody's plans for you, somebody's recognition of how amazing you are, as well as maybe an offer of love or just an offer in general or an admission that uh, somebody is thinking about you. Somebody is is missing you. Somebody is uh, coming back to you. Interesting. A rebirth is assured. This also could be the energy of you finding yourself again, right? Of you feeling yourself again. Of you knowing that you're lucky being exactly where you are and not having to change a thing. And you really don't have to change a thing. Capricorn, you're getting a rebirth um, just because of Jupiter's nice little visit to your house. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, what, Jupiter? You gonna clean my house for me? Damn. You know, you know what I'm saying? There's an energy of, you don't have to move much. You just have to be you. And here you are, you're gonna get a second chance at life. Yeah. You're, you're springing back into yourself. And always here is you are never alone. There's somebody that is watching you, that has had their eye on you, that has been admiring you, uh, that has not been able to come through and approach you. They're coming through this week. Hold on. I'm going to turn the camera around so we can review the cards. There's a lot of cards on the table. Hold on. You know what's really interesting about this reading, Capricorn, is it feels like you really need to hear this. Like this, this message or, yeah, this message, this information could not have come through at a better time. You see how many cards came out for you? This is a big week for you. You are going to be approached by, and this is central energy, right? Following spirit, following a divine plan, having a breakthrough. This is you having a major breakthrough in your life, okay? Um, finding that you are exactly where you want to be. Um, 
finding like like somebody somebody here cannot stop thinking about you cannot stop caring about you has been very intimidated sort of been trying to hide in the ether not let you know that they've been keeping an eye on you or watching you or interested in your moves uh, afraid to approach you but it's all coming out there's definitely a sense of something that's going to clear things up uh, a communication or a connection that is going to clear things up something that you never thought would happen and you don't see coming and I can't ignore the fact that it's definitely got to do with your heart space something that touches you like a like a hug from somebody that you really needed a hug from all right, I'm going to articulate this message over on the extended. I am going to dig into who the living heck this person is, as well as your romance reading. And that could have some interesting results. There's so many nuances on the table. Um, all right, Capricorn, I'll see you guys over there.